hip hop began in the streets. You know what I'm saying? When you do historically, you talk about the South Bronx, what was happening in the South Bronx, the inequity that was happening, the expressway that was being built that cut through that Latino and black community, the school cuttings that they where they cut the music programs where there was no more learning the piano or the trumpet, where they cut that. And then so what happened was the youth started reimagining turntables and records as instruments, you know what I'm saying? So that keeps me rooted from that aspect, you know what I'm saying? And then when it comes to the, you know, so when you're speaking, most times I'm speaking to the people that's in the street, you know what I'm saying? Even in academia, I feel like there's a disconnect. There was the time when academia informed the streets and the streets informed academia. And the person example of that is Angela Davis. You know what I'm saying? Angela Davis was a professor but she was actually doing activist work in the street, but she was also in the classroom as well. So she was like that bridge between the streets and academia. So I see myself as that bridge to the streets, to the church and to academia.